Hey guys, it's Caitlin from your Wellness Center. Today I want to talk about sunscreen. Uh, there are two types of sunscreen, physical and chemical, so let's talk about the difference and which one you should use. Okay, so when you're walking down the sunscreen aisle at your local drugstore, it may be a little overwhelming which one you should use and which one you need to stay away from. I hate to say it and you probably hate to hear it, but unfortunately the more expensive ones are the better ones for your skin. So when we look at common brands such as Copper Tone and Banana Boat, those sunscreens are loaded with chemical ingredients. Chemical ingredients in sunscreen allow UV rays to come into the skin and your skin reflects the UV rays off in the form of heat. So heat is bad for skin, especially when skin already has excess pigment. Anyone that has redness, rosacea, a lot of sun damage, hyperpigmentation, or melasma, any of this pigment is going to flare when you're using chemical sunscreens. So you want to avoid anything that has a chemical in it. Common chemicals are octinoxate, oxybenzoin, they are essentially bad for your skin. The really popular best one for your skin are physical mineral sunscreens. Physical and mineral are the exact same thing and if a product is going to be a physical or mineral sunscreen, it's going to say the words physical or mineral on the bottle. These sunscreens basically create a physical blocker. So when the UV rays come, they physically cannot enter your skin and they bounce off of your face. This prevents the addition of heat into the skin. The main reason that we apply sunscreen is to protect our skin from what are called free radicals. Free radicals come in the form of UV rays, pollution, cigarette smoke. Think of two older ladies, one who has smoked her whole entire life and the other who has not. The one who has smoked their whole entire life is gonna have a lot more wrinkles on their face. So free radicals basically cause damage to our skin. They cause lines and wrinkles, brown spots, red little veins on our face. Free radicals turn apples brown when you cut them open. So if an apple turns brown pretty quickly, think about what the free radicals are doing to our skin. The physical mineral sunscreens have the best protection against free radicals. There are recent studies that have shown that some of our cheaper sunscreens like Copper Tone and even Banana Boat for babies have these chemical ingredients that trigger the formation of free radicals. So you are essentially applying sunscreen to your face thinking that you're protecting it, but actually you're causing more harm than good. A lot of people will tell me when they come in for consultations that they don't use sunscreen because they heard that it's bad for their skin. Yes, it's true in a way. If you're using low quality sunscreens, it's not going to really help your skin a whole lot. So when you're searching for sunscreen, put the few extra dollars in, purchase a higher quality sunscreen. A lot of our best sunscreens wouldn't even go on market in Europe because their standards for sunscreen are so much higher than ours. So again, next time you're looking for sunscreen, peruse the aisle, find one that says physical or mineral. Neutrogena does make a zinc oxide physical sunscreen which is really nice it's one of the cheapest ones you'll be able to find otherwise some really good brands that carry good sunscreens are Kula and Elta MD those can be found online if you have any more questions about sunscreen you can visit our website check out our other YouTube videos and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel